Joe, they have such a, it seems like a quick passing game going on the Jets. It's evidenced by the 70% completion rate. I mean, does that make your area of the field on red alert? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the underneath kind of coverage droppers have to be on their A game this week. And that's what they're looking to attack, so, yeah. They say they're very patient. Just take what you give them sort of offense. Uh, I mean, they do a lot of things. I wouldn't say they're very patient. I think they do a lot of things to try to scheme up and get, like, creases on in their running game and get explosive runs and then hit some uh, some shots down the field. So, I mean, they do a good job of knowing what they want to do and uh, executing. What do you make of McCown? Is here two years and it's a struggle? <coughs> you know, he's off two wins in a row. What do you see from him? Yeah, I think, I mean, he's, on film you see a lot of the same things you saw when he was here. Um, like, he's... He's a smart guy. He knows. He's always knowing where he's going. But if you can get after him and get some pressure, he'll make some ill-advised throws, and uh, or he fumble the ball in the pocket, stuff like that. So we just gotta try to get after him and affect him. Joe, uh, the red zone defense. I know Greg makes a big point of it, but I think it's 11 out of 13 trips they score touchdowns. What's he stressing when you're down there? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, just stressing keeping him out of the end zone. I think we get a lot of third and goals in the red zone that we've allowed. I think so we're doing a good job for a second down, for a second goal. And like we're just getting, I mean, sometimes they're earned plays and sometimes they're scrambles. So things like that. Uh, we just got, everybody's got to lock in and do their job and all 11 people have to be on the same page. I mean, do you guys, does he stress? I mean, I know it's important, but like the fact that a game changes but goes from obviously seven points to three points multiple times in a mm -hmm. quarter or a game. Oh yeah, he stresses that definitely. Um, and we got to do a good job of starting to kind of keep them out of the end zone, making them kick those field goals. And um, what do you think of Garrett's week? I mean, does he look like the player was in preseason? Yeah, definitely. He's been explosive. Um, I think going a little, not going full going pra uh, practice. Uh, obviously, to make sure he stay healthy, get his ankle 100% for game day. But he looks good, and uh, I'm excited to see him. What type of help will that give your defense if Danny, you know, if Danny can come back this week? Miles can play and be the first time you guys get full strength up front. What kind of a boost could that give you guys? Yeah, I mean, it would be huge. I mean, Danny's a disruptive guy on the interior. Miles is a disruptive guy off the edge. And having both of them full go obviously will help the def help any defense. You put them on any any defense, they'd be out there starting and making plays. So. Good. I mean, he's a. There's a reason he was the first first overall draft pick. He's a very explosive off the edge. He can get after the quarterback by himself. Um, so that's that'll be huge. Just make the quarterback speed up his decisions, make quicker passes, make quicker throws, um, or make more errant throws uh, if he can get there and uh, cause pressure. So if, if he's as good as everyone thinks, number one overall, like you just mentioned, what ways does that open things up? I think just having him come off the edge by himself, uh, like you can count on him to win those one-on-one -on -one match of uh, a lot of the time, and we've seen that in practice and in the preseason. He's he's explosive off the edge, and he'll win his one-on-one, so that helps everybody else. If they want to try to double or chip him, that helps other guys get their one-on-one -on -one matchups. On that long screen pass against the Bengals for a touchdown, was there a breakdown, or did they just catch you in the, with the right call against Greg? Right yeah, was, I think it was... The, like the right call against the right call. Um, I mean, we got to be like in the perfect world on paper defense, like everybody can cover or we can get it covered down. But the way it's going at uh, that speed, you got to you got to be perfect. And I think they did a good job of scheming that up. Is it just, are you just blitzing on that play, you personally? Um, it's kind of like that's the, th it, you, we're blitzing. And then, I mean, yeah. It's just how they, they kind of blocked it up, and then he slipped, uh, slipped the, the blitz, and then everybody was by him. So you got to have better recognition, and then uh, be able to react to that faster. What do you think the team's mindset is after Sunday? So offside. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously we're disappointed with the game, how it went. Um, but being in this locker room, the guys are largely positive group of guys. Everybody gets along. Um, and we know we got the tools in here to be able to, uh, to win a game. So you got to kind of take that with a grain of salt, put it behind you, and then just keep working uh, for the next game.